Hello, thanks for choosing to study with me. Welcome. In this video, I cover two features in Microsoft Word, that is, table of figures and list of tables. Tables and figures are great tools to, to represent sizable amounts of complex data in a space-saving, easy-to-understand way. But while well-presented tables and figures in research papers can effectively capture and present information, Poorly crafted tables and figures can confuse readers and impair the effectiveness of a paper. And to help you get the balance, this video shows you how you can create both table of figures and list of tables. Having said that, let's get started. To get started the flags, I have a sample document here that I'll be using to show you how you can go about this. In this document, we have several images that I'll be taking as my object. So to be able to insert a list of figures, you have to label your object. This will help to reference to that object from wherever you'll be. To label your object so that you can later insert a list of figures, select the image or select the object, and then go to the reference tab, select insert caption, and then you'll notice that under the caption there will be this field here and then there will be this name figure one you can also customize it and add your own text if you're inserting a, a table of figures always ensure that this is written figure if it is not under the options you notice that you have this field label you can always click the drop down to change to another um, label in our case it is figure so we're just going to select that and say okay so you have to repeat uh, that action to all the figures to all the objects that you want to um, label and that you want to appear in your um, table of figures so i'll be selecting an object and then applying or labeling it with a caption You'll also notice that the captions will be labeled um, progressively, as you can see. So I'll apply to a few more. So just go to, um, the, ins to the insert caption after clicking the image and you're done. And so that you can save time, I'll just apply on those few um, objects so ensure that all your objects are labeled uh, with this name or with any other customized uh, word that you might want to appear there so after you have all your um, objects labeled have a blank space like i have in this case you can also label it like table of figures if you want and then now to insert at the table of figures, go to the reference, then under the caption, you'll see insert table of figures. Just click that. So this dialog window will appear and it will have two previews here. It will have how uh, the table of figures will appear in a print uh, preview. And if you're going to publish this document online, how the document will appear on the web. Remember, you can also change uh, the tab reader. The tab reader uh, is the dotted lines that are between the text and the number. So you can always change this to a straight line or to any of these. So if that is what you want to do, go to the tab reader below here, click the drop down and change to whichever you want. After that, you can just come and say, okay. And a table of figures will be inserted like that. So I can now be able to easily get to a certain object by holding control on the keyboard and clicking on a specific image. And just like that, we have inserted uh, a table of figures. If you want to update 
uh, the table say you have made some changes in your figures or you have deleted a few uh, objects say for example I come and delete this object here for instance I just say X and then uh, I also remove that for instance and then I save the change if I want to update my table of figures to capture that change I'll just come and click the table of figures and then I'll just come and say update table and the table should be updated automatically list of tables you may have several tables in your document and you may want to keep track of these tables the best way to do this is to insert a list of tables how do you go about this just like you have done with the figures or the other objects we'll first of all label all the tables that we want to reference in our document and to label the tables go to where the table is like I'll locate my first table in the document and then I'll go to reference and then I'll say insert caption this time loud I don't want it to be a figure I want it to be a table so under the options in the label uh, option I'll select table from the drop down menu and then I select OK so this will be repeated to all the tables that I want to reference you also notice that the table uh, will be labeled table 1, table 2, table 3 progressively so you can add more text to your table So I'm just uh, friends inserting uh, labels to the several um, tables that I have in my document and uh, let me just have those so first of all label all your uh, tables by just going to the reference tab going to the captions group select insert caption and always ensure that it is written table so from that you can go to where you want to insert uh, the uh, list of tables in my case I want to insert it here and then I'll just come and say insert table of figures so just like we did before I'm just going to click this and because I had labeled them to be tables you'll also notice that these will be uh, tables. If it is not tables, threads, below um, below here we have this general group here and under that we have several options. You notice that we have caption label. So if this is not um, tables, always come down here and switch this to a table. If it is a table and you want it to be a figure, just come and switch to a figure down here. And after that uh, you can just come and say OK. And just like that, um, a list of tables will be inserted. So if I want to get to a certain table, I'll just control and click the first table and I'll be taken right there. So that is the advantage of creating a list of uh, um, tables because it will always help you to get to a specific table with ease. It will always help you to get to a specific table uh, with ease or reference to a certain table um, without having to look at it manually. And that's it for this video. If there's anything that you may want to know, please leave a comment below. I'll be more than ready to help you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching up to the end. Please consider subscribing if you like my work. Thank you.